All right, hello. This is the uh, TI-84 guy. I'm back. I have a quick video that I wanted to do. I saw a problem today uh, that I wanted to go over. Uh, this was taken from the SAT question of the day app. Um, and I did th th this morning. These are screen prints from my uh, iPhone. Um, so about a, at about 7 o'clock this morning, I saw this problem. Uh, and this is what you will see on your phone. I just printed it out so I could do this video. Um, and this was a math calculator permitted question. The question difficulty is about average. Um, and uh, I wanted to go over um, this question because I thought it would be good. Um, the PSAT is going to be in a couple of days and I wanted to show um, how to use a program that I've written. All right. So today's question was this. <clears throat> it says a quadratic function is graphed in the xy plane. The vertex of the parabola is at a negative 3, 5, and the parabola crosses the y-axis at 0, 2. Which of the following could be the equation of the, uh, for the function? So here are the choices, and you can see that they're all in vertex form. So um, I thought... This is, a, this is a pretty simple problem if you kind of know how to plug in the two points that they gave you and figure out eliminate choices. But I actually wanted to um, you, show you the program that I wrote that I thought would also be good. Now, I've attempted to draw um, a parabola to show you. Uh, and the two things that I wanted to focus on is the vertex they tell you is a negative 3, 5. So this is a negative 3, 5, right? my y-axis, my x-axis. They say that there's another point that crosses the y-axis at 0, 2, which would be here, right? So now that means that this is a, um, this one has a negative leading coefficient because it's a, it's an inverted u, all right? Now, because we know that this is the vertex and we know that we have a point here, we can also find out by symmetry the other point. Since this, since this point is three away from the vertex, that means if we go three to the left of the vertex, we can get the other point. And that's what I've done. So now that I have three points, negative six, two, a negative three, five, and zero, two, I can use my program to figure out the rest. So I'm going to turn this on. Uh, let me get out of here so I can show you what to do. I'm going to stop it here. So now I'm going to go to programs. I'm going to go down to quadrate. That's what I call it. And now um, I'm going to use option four for three points because now I know three points on my um, parabola. One of the points they told us is a negative three, five. Another point crosses the y-axis at zero, two. And then the third point is the one that I found using symmetry. So that's going to be a negative six, two. Now that I've got that, it's saying, okay, what do you want? And because we know that the answers are in vertex form, I'm going to choose option two. I'm going to go down and choose option two because I want it in the vertex form. And so what it gives me is it gives me the original uh, and standard form, and then it gives me in vertex form. And you can see that the vertex is at a negative three, five, and it has a negative one third for the leading coefficient. And so all we'd have to do is find that one here and that would be choice D so that would be our answer um, now um, one thing I wanted to say so I looked at the stats for this question and out of the 30,560 people who who answered this question only 49 percent of them got it right so that means that um, about 15,000 people missed this question and I'm telling you that if you have this program um, there's no way that you miss it. Uh, of course, you need to have three points. And again, so basically the only thing that you really need to know is how to find a third point. But that's pretty easy using the symmetry. And we know the vertex is here. We know that the y-intercept is here. So we can go over three to the left of the vertex and find the uh, corresponding symmetrical point. But once you know that, it's pretty easy to do. Um, so again, um, this 
program I think is really useful for the SAT and the PSAT. It's also very useful for the ACT, but I'm kind of focusing on the SAT right now because the PSC, PSAT is going to be held on October 16th and today is October 12th. So if you'd like to get a copy of this program, it only works on the TI-84 plus CE. You need to um, send me your email address if you could. Um, make sure everything is right on it. Make sure you send me your email address. Uh, also, subscribe to my channel. And if you could, if you can like this video, that would be great. I'm trying to help as many students as possible. The more likes, the more uh, attention the pr uh, videos get, and the more students I can help. Um, so, if you'd like to get this by October 16th, or before the PSAT, or the next SAT, just send me your email address, subscribe to my channel, and if you could, like the video, and I'll get it to you as quickly as possible. I'll try to turn it around in, a, in at most one day. If I'm very busy, it'll be no more than two days, but I'll make sure I get this to you. All right, this is a TI-84 guy signing off. Thanks.